Hi everyone, Gerdy here. Underneath an umbrella. Because you may have gotten the impression from the last couple of videos that I did, or really all the videos that I did this year, this summer, that uh, it never rains in Austria. Not true. And I don't usually walk around with an umbrella when I'm hiking or when I'm taking, yeah, I'm not hiking really, I'm taking an evening walk, excuse me, but uh, it's raining hard enough for me, well, not to, uh, not to want to hike, walk without one, so, just to be truthful, it ain't always beautiful weather in Austria, so, let me switch hands here. There we go. Easier. Um, it's not enough to make time. Or to say you've got to make time if you want to, when you want to, reignite your vision. Now, I know lots of people are um, in that space saying... I really should make time. When this project is over, I'll have more time. When my kids are in school and it's not so busy, I'll have time. I'll make time to think about how I can reignite my vision. And it's not it's for everybody really. It's it doesn't really matter whether you're a stay-at-home parent and you have to, a couple of kids to take care of that can be really busy and it doesn't know you can also be an employee with a busy job and uh, be consumed or have lots of your time consumed by that not to mention the fact that you've got other obligations as well Ooh, this is nice So, let me park my umbrella for a minute, there you go, it's easier. So it doesn't matter, stay at home parents can be really busy, especially when you've got more than one kid, but uh, same goes for employees when you're not the owner of the business but are just in a very busy job. And definitely when you're the founder slash owner slash CEO of a business, everyday life, everyday things that need to happen can completely take over your life. And I know that that's when we start saying, well, when this phase is over, I'll have more time. When this project goes into the next phase or is done I'll have more time when the fiscal year is over as a CEO or founder you'll have more time at least that's what you keep telling yourself and you're waiting for that perfect moment when you actually have more time or when it's not so busy or when it's not so important, whatever it is that needs doing, you're waiting for that perfect moment to take, to make time, to take time and start thinking about how you can further grow your vision or how you can reignite your vision or maybe ignite your vision because your vision hasn't been ignited at all. And I know this because I used to do that myself. I had, I, when I was still in corporate, I, I worked 60 to 80 hours a week, and during peak times that could go up to 100. And I would tell myself, well, when I have time, I'll start thinking about what it is that I want to do, really want to do, what the vision I have is that I have for my life. 
actually that's how I started in my corporate career I because it wasn't really what I wanted to do when I started out and I thought well I'll do this maybe for a year maybe two and while I'm doing this I'll figure out what my vision is and how I can ignite it 17 years later I looked up from my desk and I still hadn't ignited my vision that's when I decided I needed to do things differently and that I actually had to take time okay. and truth be told my subconscious decided to do, to do that for me so if you're waiting for the perfect moment let me be the one to tell you that's not going to arrive if you're waiting for a sign that now is the time to take time to take time out to go somewhere where there's no noise where there's no internet where there's no people coming to you with their problems where there's nothing for you to do but to think be inspired to dream to do whatever it is necessary to reignite your dream to reignite your vision if you're waiting for a sign this is it this is your sign because the perfect time is never going to happen it's not enough to say you're gonna make time you actually have to take time because making time does not work we all have 24 hours in every day it's not going to be more you can't create time you have to work with what you've got basically and that's um, the same 24 hours that everybody else has so if you want to reignite your vision take some time out of your day even if it's just a half hour go step outside go walk the dog go for a walk in the park even better go someplace where you have no other people around you turn off your phone or put it on uh, airplane mode and go for a walk for half an hour and you may think you don't have time to do this and, and you have to especially when you're working you have to sit behind your desk or you have to attend all those meetings because you have to do something not true actually by going outside for half an hour you may come back with three days of inspiration instead of being stuck behind your computer or in a meeting and sitting in a brain fog basically so I'm sure all of us that have regular jobs or all of us really that are busy that busyness takes over and it doesn't leave room for inspiration you're just working down your to-do list and it takes quiet having nothing to do but to focus on that one thing that you want to reignite to actually reignite it as long as you're stuck in your to-do list you won't have space in your head to pay any real attention to what is truly important to you to pay any real attention to any inspiration that might come to further grow or reignite your vision so go take some time and when you've done that let me know how we work for you as always go there greatly bye bye